Is your head just in the middle of the thing now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feeling? Oh, just tight. I got you. Go uh, stretch series. We'll just keep it simple. Boom, boom. <laughs> We're gonna hit about one, two, three. Now, when you get to here, and you start to turn around the front leg, that makes us chop down, right? So if we're gonna get set up in the back leg, ride it out, and then turn around the back leg. Not a lot of weight on that front foot. One, two, three. Go shoulder swing, so now this whole thing will just turn together. Yeah, we go one, two, three, okay. Now put that on the plane you want it. One, two, three. Yeah, oh, give me one more. What's wrong, dude? You need a snack? You need a snack? Here. No, I got a little baby protein bar. Wyatt left it here. You wanna do no stride? Do wide no stride. Wide? No, not that wide. Two, two like very wide. Wind up. Okay, now go narrow. Shoulder width apart. Okay, now go back to normal. And feel a good turn behind it. Wind up. The reason we go um, wide and narrow stand swings is if we're having trouble with weight distribution, sliding uh, either into the front leg or falling off on the back leg or something, changing up our position. So get a little uncomfortably wide, take some swings from here, get uncomfortably narrow, take some swings from here. That is one way to kind of feel out where we want centered to be, right? Then we'll feel how to turn around our back hip, get real dialed in like that, then go back to normal, take those same feels, go there. Yes. So as far as the launch angle thing goes, when you guys try and get like handsy and lift it and create lift, what happens is our hands go like up and over the ball. We top it and then we get top spin and stuff dies and ground balls and all that stuff, right? The correct way to do it is our angle comes from our hinge, which sets the plane like vertically. The more upright we are, the more flat our swing is, the more hinged we are, uh, the more steep our swing is. You can preset that basically, right? Let your angle happen. And if you're too flat, be like, okay, my swing path is too flat. I need to get more into this. And that's how I'm going to work under the ball. Or if you're a dude like all those guys who just like consistently launch 40s. Yeah. If that's the direction you're going in, then we have to come more upright. Right? Go uh, Henderson hacks. So set up on the shoulder, no stride, on the shoulder, and then get 90 degrees in the hips, like you're doing a deadlift. Yeah. In. What's up, dude? Do one more way in there. Okay. Now go back to half to medium. Kind of set that angle. Yeah. Like right in here? Wherever you want it. Yeah. In. Cool. Yeah, I, that was always my biggest thing. Like I would try to get, I would naturally do it well. Yeah. But then like I'd try to like teach your man type stuff and so you get off. super yeah but some guy i mean some guys need that right but you don't but i naturally do it yeah so like it just... that's why there's no universal rules there's no one way to do it right everyone needs something different so when you go full speed everything cleans up movement wise like everything syncs up better your weight distribution's better because you're telling your body like hey go max effort max speed and it organizes itself more efficiently cool Cool. Dude, but what are you taking to the ball here? Your front foot and more importantly, your front hip. So you're getting here and we're lined up and that's all great. But instead of taking your back hip to it and getting that sort of follow through, you're swinging around your front hip and getting like the chest out, missing it here. Does that make sense? So you can still make that step move, but if we keep the back, yes, the back hip has to be what takes us through the swing. Yeah. Like remember the other week when you were, you were taking those swings and kind of falling over the plate, yes. but you were back spinning them perfectly. That's how you stay behind it, right? If our spin is that nice 12 o'clock spin, that means, okay, I got my barrel behind it. I hit it flush and everything's good. Yes, one. That second to last one, obviously could have gotten a better result, but I like that you got there. That was at your shins. Give me some yes. daddy hacks. Just like wind up and rip it as hard as you can. Okay. Do it within your swing. I'm going to give you a wind up. When you get to launch, just go as hard as you can. Yeah. Controlled and then rip it recklessly. Yeah. Oh, oh. A one. Foul ball, O2. Off the ground. That's gonna read, is it? No, O2. Oh no! Dude, 
We gotta end on that. That was sauce. Very good job. So we're getting a track man. You heard it here first. <laughs>